Leo. I'm doing your reading today with the shadow, scapes, tarot. I'm going to do the gypsy spread. And I'll hold the cards up to the camera so you can see the beautiful design and intricate design on each card. First, I'm going to deal out seven cards from right to left. Let's see if they're all on the camera. We'll do three rows of seven cards to the second row. And the last row. Now the first column I'm going to read for you represents your current state of mind. You have the seven of pentacles, the high priestess reversed, and also the two of cups reversed. So there is a partnership that hasn't been going the way you wanted it to. It hasn't been evolving the way you would like it to. You aren't really good with your intuition at this time. And there's some things you may have to just walk away from the situation for a while, take a breath, take a breather, give yourself a little space in this relationship in order to see things differently. With the seven of pentacles, you need to you need to watch it develop slowly. You need to step away and look at it and watch this relationship develop slowly. And by taking that time out, stepping away, taking a breather, Looking at things differently, your intuition will come back. You will start seeing things in the correct way and what is really going on instead of being either love struck or being, being hypnotized or mesmerized by this, this relationship, this situation. You're not seeing things clearly at this time. You need to give it some time, some space, and you will start seeing things clearly again. The next column is your home life. You have the Magician, the Eight, no, the Knight of Pentacles, reversed. and the Queen of Pentacles. So in your home life, you are trying to create something. You are trying to create and manifest the world that you want. You're taking care of your resources with the Queen of Pentacles. You are taking care of what you have coming in. There was something you wanted to create to start afresh in your home life 
and it hasn't happened. It is, has been delayed. It could be in regards to this situation that you need to take some time out. But it's been delayed, so it hasn't been materializing. But what you have coming in, you are really good at making sure you're on budget, you are on time, you are taking care of everything, and still trying to manifest and create that home life, that life you want. That nest, that that happy place that you can go at the end of the day. Your desires, you have Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and Strength reversed. Things are getting kind of complicated. The holidays have just ended and you are drained from the holidays, from all, all the duties, everything that you have had to take care of. You are, you are tired, drained, and you've been standing your ground. You've been standing and, and making sure things were taken care of. But your desires are to get your strength back, to reverse this, to not have to stand your ground all the time, and to start that new situation with Ace of Pentacles. You want to start that, what is being delayed at this time. What you expect to happen, you have Five of Wands, the Chariot, and the Devil. You expect there to be conflict. It could be with that partnership, that relationship. You expect there to be squabbling, conflict, arguments, but you still are going to maintain your your position, your morals, your standards throughout the whole month. You aren't going to stoop to their level. Even though you are tempted to, you are tempted with the devil. This also could refer to a Capricorn. So if there is a Capricorn around you, and that could be um, Knight of Pentacles also refers to in your home life, the one that's reversed also refers to an earth sign. So earth signs are Capricorn, Taurus, and I always forget the last one, a Virgo. And so they could be acting out of the reversal and preventing you from starting that new, new um, direction that you wanted to start, that new adventure, that new... And even with the desires, you want to start that so badly, that new, it could be a financial adventure, it could be just, you want to manifest something that will make you really happy. And it's being delayed, and it could be by this earth sign. So this is what you expect is going to happen, that there's going to be conflict, even though you stand your ground and you continue to be who you are. You're not going to stoop to their level. You're going to continue. The next column, what is going to surprise you in the month of January? You have the Empress, the Knight of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles Reverse. It's going to surprise you that you are going to be very creative, very fertile, very loving, caring, compassionate. With the Empress card, you're going to be very, very in your game. You're going to be almost at your best. You're going to really shine in the month of January. 
And there is going to be an air sign around you. An air sign, which is, is um, an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. And they're going to be in, in, they're in the upright, so they are being positive. They are being direct and, and energetic and really thoughtful With the Two of Pentacles reversed, you're no longer juggling what you had to juggle in the past. You're no longer trying to maintain a certain status in life or a certain position. You don't have to do that anymore. You are releasing that. You have eliminated the things that weren't necessary anymore, which frees up your time and your energy. You have more energy and more time now. Your soon-to-be future, by the end of the month, you have Ace of Cups reversed, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Lovers reversed. So, by the end of the month, your partnership, the Two of Cups, still isn't going to be resolved you still will be thinking about this other person, this situation, and the love that you offer and that you give won't be reciprocated. It won't be, you won't get it back. But the wheel is still turning. And even though there may be a bad cycle, it can't stay bad forever. It has to go to good, then to bad, to good, then bad. We all go through phases, and that's what the Wheel of Fortune is. It's the, it's the karma. The, either you are paying karma or they're paying karma. And it has to go. It's got to do its rounds. It's a matter of divine timing. You need to look at, there's lessons that need to be learned on both sides. Your side, their side, every side. And when the timing is right, when the karma is complete and fulfilled, and the wheel has turned, it will be your turn. It will be your time. But by the end of January, it won't be your time yet. But just... Know that divine timing, it's all in divine timing. And the final long-term outcome, you have Eight of Wands, Six of Swords reversed, and Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is really good because that is you. That is fire. That is you are starting something. You, When I talk long term, I mean out a couple months. So it could be like March or out there for a few months. Could even be a year. But you are going to be starting something. You are the fire sign. You're going to be... In your positive, you are upright. You're going to be driving it and doing what you do. You're going to be at your best, just like I said in, in the Empress card. What's going to surprise you? See, you are going to be at your best no matter what happens around you and what karma needs to be served. You are still going to be at good spirits and you're going to be your best. You have Six of Swords reversed. So you still aren't mentally moving on to a better place. You still are lingering at some situation that you may need to move on. You may need to let that go. With Eight of Wands, you are going to start getting some communication, some, some possible travel too, but you're going to get a lot, of, a lot of information, either text, or verbally or on the phone or social networking and it could be in regards to this relationship that you've been concerned about it looks like you've been concerned about this relationship maybe that'll help you move on to something better to to clear your mind and get away from 
what is troubling you. I hope you have a happy new year and I'll get to talk to you again in February. Best wishes.